Hello everyone, my name is Mike Murphy, product manager for the Bulldog brand of gooseneck couplers. Uh, Bulldog has a long history of excellence in the gooseneck coupler product category. We have generations of design expertise and field experience that have allowed us to design the next generation of gooseneck coupler. Uh, the video you're about to see will show you our new Bulldog BX1 coupler. Um, this product has many innovative, patent pending, and revolutionary features that will make the trailer easier to use. Uh, and also, you'll see how the features of the BX1 gooseneck coupler will also add significant value to the trailer. Okay, uh, what we have here is our standard 25,000 pound gooseneck coupler. You can see that the uh, retraction is limited by the handle assembly attached to the inner tube here. So you've got roughly eight inches of inner tube hanging out. Um, now with the new BX1 design you can see that the hole spacing we offer one uh, with this a direct replacement and we also offer one that allows you to retract the gooseneck up farther. So the direct replacement is that we pull the pin Take it out. Put the new one in. You've got about the same amount of tube hanging out, which is roughly eight inches. Now you've got the features and advantages of the BX1. Just like that, because you have no handle assembly welded to the inner tube, you're able to bring your ball pocket up higher and accommodate a taller bed in today's modern pickup trucks. Another thing you'll notice is with standard locking plates, it requires two motions. One is to lift the handle up and lock it into place, and then move the bottom locking plate out of the way so you can get the ball out. So you've got one motion two motions to lock the ball in place. You'll notice the BX1 locking plate only requires one fluid motion. Now, with the direct replacement in here, one of the advantages is it's a single handle operation, and that's all there is to it. When using the new BX1 gooseneck, we want to have two set bolts located in the outer tube. If your current product only has one, we do offer a gooseneck set bolt kit which consists of a nut, a bolt, and a jam nut that can be drilled and welded into your outer tube and adapted so you can use this product in your current configuration. We're comparing the new BX1 gooseneck coupler with one of our competitor's products looking specifically at the landing area. The way I'm going to determine the landing area is by measuring the outside diameter uh, as well as the uh, angle of the ball entry. So when we compare that to our new BX1 coupler, you can see the difference in the surface area and ball entry area. When we look at this in terms of how much room we have for a ball to fit down into the ball pocket, we take the diameter and the angle here, and that determines how much surface there is. So on the BX1 coupler, we actually have one and a half times as much surface area to locate the ball as our competitor. Earlier we talked about the difference in roll angles between the new BX1 coupler and our competitor. Minimum requirement by SAE J2638 is 8 degrees. Both couplers meet that. We're going to show you what we did with the BX1 to make ours 30% greater than our competitors. When we put a ball into our competitors and rotate it around, it's grabbing the ball on just one, on one side, which is the uh, I guess front or back side here. So we call that a single clinch. It's only grabbing it back here. On the front, it's completely flat. On the BX1, when you put a ball in, you'll notice that it's grabbing it on two sides, in the front and in the back. 
By doing that, we are able to bring the ball pocket further out, which allowed the roll angle to go further around. This is how we achieve a 30% greater roll angle than our competitor. What I'm going to show you today is the grease zerks and our new VX1 gooseneck coupler locking plates. Like no other set of locking plates in the industry, the VX1 offers two grease zerks for maintenance of the pivot point and of the handle assembly in the back. The first grease zerk is located right at the pivot joint in the front, easily accessible with the grease gun. You can give it a couple of squirts and it'll grease the pivot joint as well as the pad underneath it. The other grease zerk is located on the handle and you can get to that one by coming underneath and attaching your grease zerk underneath, giving that a couple of squirts. That will grease your handle assembly. Now, the way that all of this works is unique that we have some grease tracks built right into our castings. Here's a set that we've got disassembled so we can show you exactly what we're talking about. You'll notice the grease zerk on top goes into a hole and comes out right underside the pivot pin. Then there's grease tracks under here which allow the grease to flow around the um, pivot pad as well as a track going into the ball pocket. Likewise, on the locking plate, when we flip it upside down, and rotate the handle. Here you'll see the grease zerk. Inside this casting is also another grease track going from side to side, allowing the grease to come out on each side in the holes and grease that so the locking plates operate freely and effectively. As you can see from the video, Bulldog has built a better gooseneck coupler. Thanks for taking the time to see the video, and I'm sure after you have a chance to try the product, you'll see how the revolutionary features will add significant value to your trailer.